So we're turning our house into a butcher shop today. We've had this beef in our cooler for two weeks. This is the benefits of having a mo mobile fridge is that we could bring it up to where we need to uh, piece them out. Because today we're going to be piecing out our beef and putting it in our freezer. This is a big day for our family, uh, but we're going to piece it out in the house. We had two options, in here or in the barn. It's cleaner, uh, more comfortable. This is a mobile fridge. We're, using, we're converting an AC unit using a cool bot and it cools down to about 31 degrees in here. And to run that AC unit and, the, and everything in here, it costs only like $65 for the entire year. But we don't run it the entire year. We only run it when we need it. Let's check on the meat, Randy. Let's <laughs> see how it is. This is exactly why I built this thing. Woo! Yeah, it did fall off. It did? Yep. Oh man, it busted my hooks. Oh no. Oh, I had a. Oh man, I was I was worried about that. If that would happen, need to make this super heavy duty. Looks like I have another welding project to do. Then we just plug it back in. You know, I don't, we don't know how long it's going to take. We don't know if this is going to take all week uh, or if we're all going to finish it today or maybe two days. We're just going to see how it goes. Yeah, we are going to scoot it out of the way. I just wanted to clean it first because there's... Here's what we're using. We have our butcher knives. These are really just smaller knives for chicken butchering, but we're going to use those. We got the saw, meat saw. This is definitely comes in handy. Plus, we have other longer knives. Meat cleaver, honing, big large 10 inch knife, and these are all sharp knives, they should be. The more bus tubs the better is what we're learning, because they definitely come in handy for everything. I mean, we have stainless steel bus tubs, these are plastic, paper towels, and then we're using a combination of wrapping the meat, we need to have butcher paper here, some saran wrap, scale and and we're also going to vacuum seal some of the meat we're making prosciutto here this is one of our hams and this is a year old a year old randy doesn't seem like that long ago <laughs> no we have one more year left on this prosciutto and then we're going to eat it all right we're just trying to set up here we got one table here butcher block table that's going to be our main cutting table and then uh, this is another table our dining table. You gonna get another one? Or just one at a time. These are heavy. Yeah, they are. You're supposed to. <clears throat> Like draw a mark here because I think there's ribs in here from that point and it's supposed to go across where you would cut the ribs and these are steaks are like so I think we're supposed to cut it like right here because we had to cut this remember because it wouldn't fit yeah it should have been <clears throat> straight this way we're trying to figure out a plan of action here we're going by this book for reference, what book is that? Butchering Beef. Um, that's gonna help us move along here and figuring out how to do this. Also, does this look fine? Like we don't know if this is like a lot of fat. We don't know if this is good or bad because we've never seen beef like this before. Yeah, I just start off the and so we have nothing to compare it to. Yeah, so I'm just going to just remove some of the fat here because I know I can do that, at least get that much started. And we'll save that in the bucket. First piece. <laughs> First of many. Yeah, what do you cut? What do you not cut? 
And as we're butchering larger animals, we did our pigs last year ourselves. Uh, come to find out that, you know, See, this, this meat long. doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to yeah. make mistakes today. And I think that's okay because this is all learning. Like, we're going to learn how to do this. And we're going to learn from our mistakes. This definitely can be intimidating, but we're just, you know, taking our, trying to take our time, but still kind of go steady. And just figuring out, like, what, what's what. And so far, nothing's looking like a steak to me. <laughs> It all looks like roast. Yeah. Let's just make hamburgers all out of the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jason. This is all grind, right? This looks like a steak to me, I think. I think this is going to be good. We got fat, grind, and we have the actual meat, some steaks. Penelope's bagging or packaging everything up. Look at that. Let me see. Huh? Very good. That's a good looking piece. You're finding that seam, Randy? Yeah. This is a tenderloin. Our family uh, party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's what this is. Extra large uh, flank steak. Oh. Extra large flank steak. <laughs> oh, no. Are you getting ready with extra sheets? That's yeah. a good idea. Mm -hmm. An extra now, do you want us to take that that long? What did you say this was? Tenderloin. Tenderloin. Uh, yes. Can you wrap that in Thanks. medallions? Don't don't slice yeah. it yet. Okay, slice it yet. Yeah. Slice <laughs> it. So wrap it. We're picking off the meat off the bones. That's going to be like a grind, or we could always put it in a stew. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. What are we calling this? It's been two hours. <laughs> this is the half a beef, so we still have another ways to go. You see how all this meat is like, see all this? It's all separate. Like, they're all separate pieces of meat. So this is something, this is something, and then this this back here is something so they're all like separate it's like when you piece out a chicken it's all separated so should i split this then yeah i wish our sawhorses were just a See, tiny bit higher it comes off in strips right yeah but i'm taking the meat i know All right, that's done. That's all our grind right there. This is just for half a beef here. We're almost done. We got a bunch of roasts, steaks. And then we're going to, before we put them in the freezer, we're gonna put them in the cool room. So that way they can stay cold until we're done piecing out the next half. It's still not sticking. <laughs> Maybe foil would just be better. I don't, I don't wanna put foil on this, but. Oh my gosh. So we're not done with the other half. This is still part of that half of beef. When we first weighed these, they each weighed 100 pounds a piece, each one of these big pieces that we brought in. So maybe we could put it over here. No, that's okay. And then... We got wood. 
There we go. There you go. That looks like a look steak. Like, there you go. So the problem with this, I'm assuming we got to saw these things all the way down, Jason. Okay. If so, we want bone-in steaks. Yeah. Yeah. T-bone. T-bone and porterhouse. There's your porterhouse right here. And this, we're going to, there's still tenderloin here. Uh, we got to debone this, <laughs> remove all this. We can probably re actually remove this, what's ever left in the tenderloin, and still make a couple uh, of uh, filet mignons. So however thick you want them, <clears throat> you cut it. We're going to cook some of this. What is this, flank steak? Yeah. Flank steak, some butter, salt, pepper. Because all this butchering is making me hungry. All this meat? Yeah, all this meat. Just Did looking at it, not eating it, huh? I know. I feel like we're slowing down here. <laughs> we still haven't even done the ribs yet. Like the rib portion. I mean, we still have a lot to do, but. What is this one? Let's see. A roast? We're on like hour three or four. Slowing down. And we're slowing down. Now if you slow down, we're, we're not. We're not in a chew of a hurry, but we also just want to get it done. Yeah, these are good. These ones we left, we left the fat on, which probably should have trimmed it a little bit more. Because you're just basically chewing on fat. But they're full of flavor. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try to finish today. It's about four o'clock, and. Uh, these are the big beef, big beef, big beef. We still got one of those. We've been putting all the packaged meats back in here. What we're showing you today is, you know, just homestead butchery, you know? Like we're, we're just doing it as a family and we're just getting it done and just figuring it out. Plus this is our first time doing this big of an animal and then when you get your sirloin steaks from in here you get seven of them that's how you get seven of them cut them this way your tomahawks so we'll debone this we'll cut you know take the meat off the bone right here and leave some meat right here this is your sirloin steak two big pieces it's been taking us one hour per big piece like this per side and I think with every side because we've had two of these sides and this is our second one of this one which is good because it's all practice and I feel like a little bit more comfortable doing the second time around right mm -hmm. yep. Kind of like we already kind of know what we're looking for, so it it does help that we there's two of the same, and then we can have practice and keep going. These are the last two pieces for the night. Does it smell, Randy? Uh, no. What? Smell what? Oh. Uh -huh. No, it really doesn't. I mean, that's a question that I had. I think, you know, I mean, it's been sitting in the cooler for two weeks, but it's in a cooler. And then we bring it in here, it's taking, you know, an hour to break it down, but there absolutely is no smell. It has a slight beefy smell, but it smells like beef like you would buy at the grocery store and then you're about to cook it. 
but it doesn't smell bad or anything yeah. like that. So I'm really just finding a seam, like a fat line, and then I'm just following it. Kind of just like, basically you kind of just pull it, pull it apart with your hands. You want me to work on? You want me to work on this piece here? Um, I want to. It's, it's gonna be the same thing as we did last time. Yeah. <laughs> the navel roll. Yeah. Big old roast. That's heavy. Randy's getting good at them steaks. Mmm. <laughs> Tomahawks. <laughs> Home stretch right here, guys. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> You've got like the All right. yeah. sand in my eyes. It's hour 11. We're still going. This is the last of it. Look at all this grind. We still got to grind stuff up. We got more ground in here. We have a bunch of meat that we put in our cooler. We're saving the bones. We have like two, two trash bags of bones that we're gonna make bone broth tomorrow. We're gonna continue this after, you know, we're gonna finish up here. And then uh, tomorrow we still have to grind the meat. What else are we doing? To put it away? We're grinding the meat. We're gonna chop some of the bones down into smaller pieces and then um, we can vacuum seal those and save those all for um, beef, beef broth. I'm making a batch of beef broth now. So we can sleep and wake up to the wonderful smells of beef broth. Also, we'll let you guys know how many pounds. We're going to weigh everything uh, in the next video and show you guys how many pounds uh, we actually got from this one beef. We're going to sleep good tonight, everyone. <laughs> it actually might snow tonight. You know, more roasts. We still have the oxtail. And this is uh, cheeks, the hit for the head. That we got to put away still, but all the big meat's gone. These are more bones. I'm glad we didn't do the other, the other beef because we wouldn't have had room for it. I feel like maybe one beef is max for this for this little cooler. This table definitely came in handy. It was super heavy duty. Uh, it could have been a little bit wider, but the length was good. How do you think that went? It was really long. But I think it went really well. I'm, I'm really glad that we had all of this help. My mom is a fantastic dishwasher. <laughs> all the things that I hate doing, like she's really quick and fast. I just like, I'll blink my eyes and then the kitchen is clean. So I'm like 100% thankful for my mom. My dad is very, his, his gift is um, fine, like the fine bits. And so, He's really good at taking the meat off the bone and very patient with that. And Penelope was super helpful. She was the packager and then she was really good at cutting up the meat. Jason is really good at finding the roasts and making, <laughs> <laughs> and making good roasts. So I feel like everybody had a part to play and I'm so thankful to, to have all this help here because there's no way that you and I could have done this by ourselves. Yeah. And um, so the key is have help, have the right tools, and have these um, these bus tubs. Where are they? They're bus here. tubs. The bus tubs. Yeah. These 100% were helpful. We have a lot of them. So we had some stored away everywhere and then they were it just helped us be organized. Okay, that was a super long day that I need to put this into two videos. So the next video is gonna be us grinding all the meat and then also we're gonna weigh everything to let you guys know what that whole one whole beef weighed. This week, we are doing a promo with the Abundance Plus streaming platform. It's a homestead farming streaming platform that I'm putting a lot of our content on there, the uncensored stuff. Because that video that I posted of us actually killing that steer and hanging it and gutting it, uh, the, that video on YouTube, on our channel, got demonetized. So I'm starting to get demonetized on certain things. And 
I don't even show a whole lot on those. Those are actually et highly edited and, and I take a lot out because of that, but yet I still get demonetized. So I'm putting all of that stuff on Abundance Plus platform because that there, I will not get demonetized. That video, the uncensored version, is the number one most watched video on that entire platform for the month of December, which is amazing. So with that, we are celebrating that and doing a promo. For every yearly subscription that you buy to Abundance Plus, I'm throwing in my PDF of our chicken processing guide. And this is a color guide that we have for our online chicken butchering classes. And this is only offered on our classes. I don't sell this individually, and I'm offering it to you guys this week only. Seven steps of bleeding, scalding, defeathering, eviscerating, quality control, everything, and, and it's all in color. So super detailed. I'm throwing that in for a yearly subscription to Abundance Plus, so I'll leave the link down below. Also, I got you guys 10% off. So if you use the code so the land, enter that in, and you get 10% off a yearly subscription, plus I will email you this PDF.